But what we're trying to do here is to talk about that which is true. So I'm not here to argue politically for or against President Obama or the future President Romney. Oops, I shouldn't have turned that. Uh, I'm here simply to look at various matters which I have stuck my long aristocratic nose into because they interested me. And one of these is the question whether the President of the United States is the President of the United States. And this matters not because he is on the left and I am on the center right. It is because we have a long, close, special relationship, your country and mine, and I do not want to see America fail. And there's a real danger that unless the question of whether or not your president is your president is addressed properly by those who now have the power to address it properly, then it will come back to bite them at a time when they are not ready for it. And the world is now facing severe financial dislocation. We need sure and certain leadership at the top, particularly here in the United States. And that while this question is out there unresolved, I don't see how Mr. Obama can possibly concentrate fully on the job in hand. So that's why it matters to us in the United Kingdom that this question should be resolved. Now, supposing you wanted to see the birth certificate of the Queen of England, or the Prime Minister, or the leader of the opposition, would you have to go down on bended knee to Mr. Onaka, or anyone else for that matter? No. In Britain, all certificates of birth, of marriage, and of death are matters of public record. And all you have to do is go into the public record office, pay your ten pounds or whatever it is, and you can have the copy of the birth certificate of anybody you want, without restriction. And I must say that in the land of the free, I find it puzzling that the birth certificate of your president is a state secret. Because if I were the president, worrying about this issue, and how do I know he's worried about it? Because in 2008, he released his short form birth certificate. And in 2012, he issued, 2011 I should say, he issued his long form birth certificate, of all places, on the White House website. He is plainly worried by this issue. The Department of Health in Hawaii, which keeps the state secrets, which are the birth records of Hawaii, they are fed up with this issue because people from all over America are getting in touch and saying, we want copies of this certificate, why won't you let it be publicly available? So these two, the Department of Health and your president, have a common interest surely, in putting this matter firmly and forever to bed. And let's pretend for a moment that the birth certificate of your president is genuine. Because it's not for me as a non-expert to tell you that it isn't. But if it is genuine, then the Department of Health in Hawaii will know that, and the president will know that, and therefore, they could, and should, and surely would do the one thing that is entirely, totally, blindingly obvious. They would open up the original book of records, 
to forensic inspection by experts chosen by both of your political parties. They would say, come and look. You can check whether the number of the birth certificate is in sequence. You can take a small sample from the corner of the paper to check its date. You can take a sample of the ink to check that it matches the date of the period. You can check anything you want. Come and look. But here is the deafening silence. They haven't said that. They haven't done the obvious. And the question is, why not? Is it against the law? No, it isn't. It is quite clear in the Hawaiian law that if the keeper of the records wishes to make any of the records public or put them on display or allow them to be inspected, he or she is fully entitled to do so, provided that the subject of that record consents. And clearly, if this record were genuine or is genuine, then your president would want people to see that it was genuine and he would be content to have this forensic examination performed and he would therefore say to the department in Hawaii, I have no objections, please go ahead and allow forensic experts for both parties to come in and have a really good look. That, after all, is what we can do. I can go and see the original birth record for myself or anybody else in the United Kingdom. I can go there, I can put on my white gloves, I can be monitored by somebody who makes sure I don't tear the page out or write root notes across it, <laughs> and I can examine the original document. What is the problem with that? And yet one of the things that happened in one of the cases about this is that the brother of a girl who was born the same day as President Obama and died the following day, when he asked the court in Hawaii whether he could have a copy of the long-form birth certificate for his sister, to which Hawaiian law specifically entitles him, he was told no by the court because the Deputy Attorney General for Hawaii said we can't have people looking at the records, that might damage them. <laughs> well, hello, surely the whole purpose of looking at records, keeping records, is so that they can be looked at. <laughs> and so, to me, coming from a country where we have a tradition of freedom, and where these public records are just that, public, it is remarkably puzzling how difficult it is for you to have sight of records which to us would be literally an open book.